Hey, what's going on guys? This is Juan with Liberty Graphic Designs. I have a small job that I got to do today, so I want to I want to show you what I'm going to be doing today. And uh, also yesterday I went to Dallas on uh, Monday, yesterday. I went to Dallas to pick up some some screens. And I also needed to get some water-based inks, like water uh, white. And I'm usually I'm currently using um uh, Matsui and I'm running out of Matsui so they they don't carry GSG doesn't carry Matsui so I went to GSG right looking for something that was similar to Matsui and to my surprise let me show you what I got at GSG so I'm gonna let me go get a tripod so I can put this camera down that way you guys can see what I got yesterday at, and in Dallas um, let me go get the tripod so okay like I was saying yesterday I was in Dallas right and I went to GSG to look for some white uh, water-based inks because uh, I don't I'm running down I'm running low on water-based white and GSG runs uh, carries this this brand right here it's called virus perfecto white so I was like okay well let me let me get a, a list of course so I can give it a try and one of the salespersons there I believe his name was either Marcus or my or Mark. I'm really bad with names. I'm sorry, guys. So I'm gonna say Marcus. Marcus from GSG in Dallas. He said, um, "I have a couple of samples that you can take." And I was like, "Oh, heck yeah!" So everybody loves samples, right? So he gives me two quarts of virus ink. One of them is the Preferto, yeah, Preferto, whatever you say that. And the other one is called Hydro White. This one's supposed to be really cool. I can't get it to focus. Let me see. So that's the other cord that uh that he gave me. And I was like, oh man, that's pretty cool. You know, I I get two cords of ink. That's 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 awesome. So I started talking to him and I said, man, you should you guys should look into getting Matsui ink. Okay, so we're there right talking about Matsui. And uh, how Salomon, you, sh you should start carrying Matsui here at uh, GSG. So he says, I'm going to go to Long Beach for the ISS. We're going to be talking about that. I was like, man, that's perfect. And then he asked me, have you gotten their new kit? I was like, yeah, I got the Neo kit from uh, Matsui. He goes, no, the new kit. I was like, I don't know. I don't know that if they had a new one. He goes, and he just walks away, right? He comes back carrying a box carrying this box and he says I'm gonna make a day I said how's that he hands me this box and he says here Matsui sent me a couple of kits I want to give this out to you I was like man that's perfect this kit is about 350 bucks so I was like man that's that's awesome so let me bring the camera over so you can see what's in the kit okay so when we open it we find out that one of the containers it's broken but I was like man I don't care probably most of the ink still in there I don't know if you guys can see it it looks like the pink but remember I, I only needed the white so he gave me two quarts so let's see what this kit has and this uh Okay, so the first one is Infinity. So the R RFU, I don't, I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me get out of the bag. So this is what the kid has. If I can turn around. There you go. Infinity, what is it? Infinity, RFU. Transparent white. That's uh, probably like the mi mixing base. And then, here's a little containers. Now, this is a mixing system, but not only a mixing si si not only a mixing system. You can also use these colors on their own. If you see where it says RFU, that says yeah RFU, that stands for ready for use. So this one is ready for use. 
no need to mix it. And this is uh, Reflex Blue. What was this one? Black. Spot uh, Black. Next one will be Process Blue. There you go, that's nice. And I was looking into getting some process colors. Um, green. Another Infinity White. I mean, not white, Infinity Black. Next bag. It's red. Orange. Purple. Can't even see it. Purple. And uh, warm red. Make sure I get ink all over my hands. The other one is dark blue. I know you guys can't see it, that's why I'm bringing it out a lot. Medium purple. Violet. Yellow. And last but not least, the broken one. Rubin, ruby red. There you go. So most of the ink still in there. It's just uh, that the spill. It actually spilled and it, and it sealed it, so that's actually good. Let me put this down. Make sure there's nothing else in the back in the box. Look, well, that's it. So yeah, I mean, I got that kit for free, 350 bucks, some, somewhere around that ballpark. That's what I paid for my other kit, so that's why I'm saying it's 350 bucks. So this is a GSG, if, uh, if you guys are looking for, um, if you're looking for, you know, supplies like screens, inks, water base, plastisol, um, all kinds of, all types of inks machinery they they sell m and r and they sell the embroidery machine um zsk uh go ahead and i'm gonna put a link below for gsg that way uh, that way you guys can go check it out if you guys need anything from there i am not getting anything from them um i don't have any affiliation with them but they're always being really nice nice with me so uh you know, go go check them out. This is uh, this is pretty cool. I mean, they gave me a whole kit, so I guess I cannot say that they're not giving me anything because they gave me a kit. But they didn't give me the kit to 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 give a shout out. So I'm just doing that for you guys. Uh, if you need any vinyl, they carry all of that stuff. All the stuff that we do, you know, for screen printing, embroidery, H H T V, all of the stuff they carry it there. Um, so go ahead and give them a try uh, or go ahead and uh, just just check them out and see if it's something that you guys can can uh, um, can use really good guys so <clears throat> anyways going back to the video the video is about embroidering I'm gonna be embroidering some beanies today uh, it's a small run it's 48 I gotta do 48 beanies I gotta do 30 um, 36 actually 36 uh, button down shirts it's all embroidery so that's what you're gonna be that's what you're gonna be seeing me doing <coughs> it's the uh, the embroidery so excuse me guys I'm a little sick um, hopefully I can get better by tonight because tonight we're having a live show so uh, <coughs> I'm just gonna let the camera roll and uh, so you can see what, uh, what we have in here Oh, I got some uh, some hoodies. I forgot about this. I got some hoodies for the brand, the Make It Happen brand. So I'm gonna use these hoodies for that. So 
So we're not going to be doing that today. Put that to the side. <clears throat> so here are the beans that we're going to be doing today. It's 24 here. And here's the shirts. So this is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be embroidering on this purple, purple shirts and these gold ones. Also got some blue ones. It's going to be gold, purple, and blue. 48 beans. Got some more hats for the for the brand for the make it happen make it happen brand and this is the other shirts. Here you go. It's just a couple of gold ones and uh, some blue ones. Okay, so in order in order for us to do the beanies, we have to use this jig. Let me bring the machine over. So that's what it is. It's just a little jig. It's got a little square opening right there. And it attaches to the frame of the machine. See, in the past we used to use, or there's a lot of people that still use hoops, but when you use a hoop to do the, embro the uh, embroidery on a beanie, it actually stretches the beanie. By doing it this way, um, you don't have that problem. As you can see, the beanie comes in like this, right? It's kind of hard to see because it's black, but we're gonna have, we got embroidered right here, so. This part has to go in there. So in order for me to do that, we have to take the beanie inside out. Okay, so there's a latch right here. You can see, and I'm gonna open it. That opens up this little deal. I'm gonna take the uh, backing, backing or stabilizer, whatever you guys call it. Both, both uh, names are correct. Now I'm gonna slide the jig inside of the inside of the beanie. Like so. And I just bring it up to to the edge of the of the frame. And close the latch and that secure the the beanie in place. So now it won't move. But now if you notice move this hat out of the way if you notice once i bring it over here to the arm i have to stick the arm inside not my arm but the machine arm inside the beanie like that so you can embroider okay so i moved the camera so you can see what is what's going on so now what i'm going to do is uh <clears throat> I'm gonna do what is called a trace and I have to make sure that the uh, the machine is right in the center and that I'm not gonna hit the frame Oops. so I notice it needs to go over that Okay, so right there and then we can hit start.
Okay, so this one is done. And as you can see, see it's not stretched. Normally it'll be, it'll look something like that. But by using the that jig, it prevents it or keeps it from um, from stretching the um, the beanie. And then all you gotta do, get rid of the back end. Probably too close. Let me zoom out. Okay, so all you gotta do is get rid of the back end. Turn the beanie inside out or right side back in and there you go pretty neat so when you're ready to put another one slide your back in in there and lift up that little deal make sure you're straight with the back of the frame close the latch make sure that this is underneath so you don't sew on it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this shirt on this machine. So I can do both at the same time. The way, I, the way, uh, the way I'm running both of the machines. Now I'm just going to double check, make sure the shirt is not folded inside. Okay, so run it. A trace on this one as well. Okay guys, so I got both of the machines running, both of the embroidery machines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start printing my boxes. That way, uh, that way they have the logo on the on the boxes when I ship, you know, stuff. Like for example, the hats. That's what these boxes are for, is for hats. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And if you guys are wondering what kind of ink I'm using, I'm just using black, regular black, um, black um, water-based inks. And I'll, I'll show you, show you how to do it. That's it. So now I'm gonna print this side. So that side is already been printed. That way when you make the box, it's gonna be one logo on the back, one on the front. So just make sure that when you do it the other side, you're going directly on this one. So just flip it over. Like so, that way it's not upside down. There you go. So that way, when I make the box, well, that way when I form it into a box, it's gonna be a logo there. The logo there. This one's going to Ryan Perez. He bought one of the hats for the Make It Happen. And uh, I'm gonna send it to him tomorrow as well. Sorry, Brian, I was gonna send it yesterday, but I, I ran out of boxes and I didn't even notice. But it's a good thing because I wanna throw one of these. <laughs> Brian, I want to throw one of these knives in there, okay? These alpha knives, because every time I'm watching your videos, you're always using scissors or a blade or a spatula or something to open your boxes. So I'm gonna send you one of these knives. Um, 
one of these knives right here. So very slim. I usually wear in my pocket like that because uh, you know that's that's a kind of knife we use for signage. Anyways, I'm gonna send you one of these, okay, Ryan? <laughs> so you stop using your scissors. Anyways, this is your box, Ryan. I will ship it out tomorrow morning. So I guess we're gonna end the video right now, guys. Thank you for watching. I have to, I have to get ready for, for the live show today. So, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for supporting. This is one of like, uh, I don't know what was today. What's today? Tuesday? I can't even remember what day today is. Yeah, today's Tuesday. Duh. Anyways, you know, it's like a little blog, you know, for for Tuesday. Um, but yeah. Thank you for watching guys, make sure you subscribe, make sure you ding the little bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. It's a pleasure making these videos for you guys. If you have a question, please um, don't forget to, to uh, uh, put a comment with your question. A lot of you are sending me emails, a lot of you are contacting me through Facebook. It's a lot easier, f well I can, yeah, just send me your question via email, via Facebook or you can you know just uh, drop a line in the comments below. Thank you guys and I catch you on the next one. See you later.